Hey, Jeff. Hi, Bob. So, Jeff, are you ready to vote for the president tomorrow? Yeah, I don't know, man. The 2232 election's been a bit of a roller coaster. Oh, come on. It hasn't been that bad. Oh, yeah? How about that one time Senator Johnson threw a hissy fit right on the debate stage? Why? Why doesn't anyone ever listen to me? Oh, my God! Well, that was just a one-time scenario. I mean, the celebrity Mrs. Denzel didn't have any hiccups, right? Are you serious right now, Bob? No. Gosh dang it, Bob! Don't you remember that Miss Denzel's a drug addict? Oh my gosh! Why do you have an axe? Just answer the question! Yes! Well, hang on a second. I think I actually do remember now. <laughs> Okay, y'all, just remember to vote for me and you will get free candy. Here, have one, have one. Yeah, I guess she really is a drug addict. See, what I tell you, Will still won't stop me from voting. And by the way, why are you wearing a sweater? It's freaking 80 degrees out here. Here, let me help you take that off. Oh gosh, Bob, no! Ugh. Oh, ha, ha, Jeff, now I'm gonna take off that sweater. Bob, why? Ah! So you're probably wondering what just happened there. Well, that's just another one of the things you can do in the future. You see, today is the year 2232. And over the course of 200 years, several political ideologies have changed. Here. Follow me. So this is my house. Impressive, isn't it? Well, right now what I'm about to show you is how most of us in the future are cyborgs. Take a look at this. Bum, bum, bum. Ba -dum, ba -dum. A duck walked up to a lemonade stand and he said to the man running the stand, Hey, bum, bum, bum. So now, we have arrived at Mrs. Denzel's rally. Let's see what's going on right now. Who here wants Skittles? Oh my gosh, there's so many hands. But we all look the same, so all of us should get some Skittles. Here! As you can tell, today, people don't care about politics. They care about possessions. And the reason why is because today, the world economy has grown massively. Aside from a few countries, of course. But because of this, there's almost no war, and world peace is somewhat achieved. So we don't have to worry about politics. Just get your free stuff. Free! 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 But anyways, let's go and see what Senator Johnson is doing right now. Got any grapes? The man said no, we just sell lemonade. But it's cold and it's fresh and it's all homemade. Can I get you a glass? The duck- ah! Well, now we're at the backstage of a Johnson rock. <laughs> hey, Senator Johnson. What's wrong? None of them will listen to me. Senator Johnson, who won't listen to you? My voters are the people who don't listen to me. They don't know anything. All they know is that I'm for the past and they vote for me. They don't think of any of my ideals. Oh, that's right. You see, guys, Senator Johnson is actually from the year 2100. This was the year that scientists sent a man to the future. They did this by putting Senator Johnson on a rocket that would fly several times faster than the speed of light. Today, Senator Johnson here has been stuck in the future. And he's been stuck here for five years. They don't even have Cocoa Puffs anymore! And everybody looks like me! Oh yeah, and today, there's no Kellogg's brand cereal or any other tasty brands from your time. You see, we don't even have Coca-Cola anymore. That was abolished a hundred years ago because of it being classified as a poison. Oh. And this is my last can of Coke left. Oh my gosh. Oh no, it's time for me to go. All right, gotta put my big boy pants on. Look at Johnson. 
I know you got this. Greetings, ladies and gentlemen. Today, I would like to talk about our looks. You see, today, we all look the same. We all have this certain face. It doesn't matter what hair you have or whatever. The bottom line is that we all have the same face. But this wasn't how it was back in my day. You're stupid. 